Good afternoon, YouTube family. It is surely coming to you in the middle of July. It is hot, it is hectic, and my kids are home. And I'm gonna do this really quick five um, products I regret buying from Wish. I'll have a series on them since I've been doing this since 2005. I wished I was able to keep a lot of the products, but they were all under the category of skincare. So a lot of the cream, eye cream, or skin cream, or anything that's supposed to help with the skin, none of them was a result of anything that created any type of change. And in the beginning also I bought a lot of clothing tops that weren't successful, but I didn't keep any of those. They all were thrown away. And those were back in 2005, ending of 2000. And 16. So definitely from now on I'll keep a lot of the products I regret, regret buying from Wish and just put them on the side so that you guys could already have an idea of the things I did not like that I did order from that site. Here's one of the items. Um, this, especially if you're a beginner to eyelashes like me, that was one of my goals for the year which I've done a great job with applying every weekend. This would be one of the lash sets that were not helpful. The, the band is pretty thick. It's almost like a, a fabric band. So it was so hard for the glue to just stay on the lashes. And it was just a product that just didn't want to stay for a long period of time. It was a beautiful dramatic eye. I wore this. The only time I wore this was for the baby shower. September of 2016. This big old bulky mascara, one side has the primer and yeah, it has a strong smell. Like a lot of these eye products, I'm starting to be very aware and so and and when you watch a lot of other YouTubers and they tell you to pay attention to small things like parabens and other strong chemicals that surround the eyes, that probably is very dangerous to be by the eyes and things of that nature, you definitely have to be um, very... I wish you would do that again. You hear me? Don't do that. Don't do that. Um, so I'm more um, aware now with time. To just be mindful with anything that you put around your eyes, uh, lashes, eyeliner, things of that nature, glue. You got to be uh, mindful that you're not putting chemicals into your your body. So that's the second product. This third one I bought back in 2015 that did absolutely nothing. This was a essential whitening concentrate with like the gold specks in them it's supposed to keep your face looking like uh, a radiant type of uh, it's a dupe for something I can't remember right now because this was a long time ago and it, it didn't do anything but it was a pretty bottle and I think the reason why I didn't throw it away was because it was pretty so I was able to one of these skincare I was able to hold on to this would be a product that promised did I make all of them? this was from the lashes was from A Miss Eyelashes Pure Handmade. You get five of them. Uh, it's a beautiful. It's a beautiful fashion, you guys. I think the pros would love this because it really creates a beautiful dramatic look. But for a beginner like me, start small and then work your way up. This was called uh, Clean Color Miss Dramatic Two strong chemical smell this did nothing it's pretty bottle and there was no result or or anything that happened there the fourth item would be this um firming solution that's supposed to help lighten and firm the skin no oh. yeah it's a light firming oil and this is what i was trying to put around um my tummy area it didn't do anything at all. I had bought that back in 2015. No result. And the final item would be this thing I was really excited about when I was starting to learn how to do my eyeliner. 
and this tool really didn't help too much. I would, naturally a person already shakes a little bit when I have to stay very still <laughs> and it didn't help too much. It's best just to do it yourself and keep practicing with the mirror and you'll, you'll get it. It'll eventually get to you the moment you practice. And those are my five products I regret buying from Wish.com. Um, I will definitely do a series on it, maybe every every quarter or every six months of products, because I don't buy too much from the site now. But definitely will hold on to those so you guys can take a look at the things that didn't, didn't fancy me much. You guys have a wonderful and blessed day and keep having a wonderful uh, summer, you guys. And uh, continue on being a blessing to others, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.